What's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here again. Another gameplay commentary. So I got a few things I want to talk about, but before, before I get started, I just want to let you guys know that if you look back at my older videos, you'll you'll see that all of them have more dislikes than likes. Please do me a favor, every last single one of you, and ignore the ratings. Yes, if you want to like the video, that helps me out a ton, but ignore the mass amount of dislikes because. There's some people from my school who thinks it's funny to dislike the video. I don't know why they're doing it. They think it's funny for some reason. But regardless, don't just ignore that. Who cares how many dislikes the video has? I mean, I put a lot of time to these videos, and I'm sure they're not really that bad. I mean, if you don't like the video, don't watch it. That's all. That's what I think about it. But anyways, guys, off that topic because no one wants to talk about dislikes and haters and crap like that because that's just not a fun topic. Now, if you've been with me for a while, you've you know by now. That's basically, I like to use all the guns in the game, and I had a series called Black Ops Weapon Guides, where I, which is not really original, but I had my own way of doing it, where I basically had a gameplay, and I explained wh which setup is best, and how I think it's best, and not in any way is this a fact, these are my opinions. So today I was using the second best setup, in my opinion, with the Scorpion, usually I recommend Dual Wield, because it's very effective when you use Dual Wield, and using Single Wield is just kind of silly in my personal opinion, some people may disagree with me, and you're entitled to your opinion, so I'm not going to argue about it. But when using the single wield scorpion, you need to keep in mind that it is more powerful than the dual wield. But you only have one. So in turn, it becomes more effective at long range, obviously, and more, and less effective at close range. But it's still very deadly at close range. When using the dual wield attachment, the scorpion has a 40-20 damage, I believe. What does this mean? That means that when you shoot the guns at, at, within their range, which is like hugging distance, it's very tiny. But when you shoot the guns off and shoot someone within the range, the bullets will do 40 damage. A player is 100 health. So, do the math, and when um, the number is hits 100 or exceeds it, the player's dead. So, if I'm using the Scorpion Dual Wield and I hit 3 bullets on a guy at close range, he's dead. At long range, you take 5. Rendering it not very hard to get the 5 bullets off because of the um, 40 bullets in a clip. But you'll see how it's fast for the choppers. But when using the single wield, it's different. It has 50 damage close range and 20 long range. So it still has that same 5 bullets at long range, which is very bad. It takes forever to shoot this to kill people with this thing. Although it does have very nice low recoil, it takes forever to kill people at long range. So it is quite painful. But at close range, like I said, it has 50 damage. That means it takes 2 bullets to kill somebody. So a great step with this gun is lightweight, steady aim, and marathon. Because what you do is you just get, you just get right in their face and you hip fire them. Yeah, I, that's basically exactly what you do with the dual wield. But if you're going to do that setup, you should, probably should use dual wield. With the single wield, I like to use it on longer range maps, such as Array. That is why you see me here on Array using a long range weapon. The Scorpion is very good close range if you need to. But I find its only weakness is medium range. At medium range, it's going to get beaten by guns like the Galil, the FMOS. But at long range, these guns cannot match to the low recoil of the Scorpion. That's why I feel the Scorpion is a very good gun on long range maps. But when you use a dual wield, you want to use it on close range maps like Nuketown and Firing Range. It's pretty straightforward anyway, if you think about it. So just make sure to try to avoid medium range engagements when using the Scorpion single wield and the dual wield. And when using the dual wield, try to focus on close range, and when using the, the single wield, focus on long range. That's what you gotta try to do, guys. If you do that, you'll be very successful with this gun, and it's not as bad as you may think. Thanks, guys, for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like. If you liked the like, get a favorite, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.